Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Aussie Flipper. My name is Matt Diedrich and I am an online reseller. What that means is I'll buy a product for the sole purpose of flipping it online for a profit. Hey, really excited to have you join here today because we've got 10 awesome items to get through. I've got a few niche categories that I haven't paid too much attention before, but they've been able to come up with a few sales this week. So I'm gonna show you those categories and what those items were in just a moment. I'll also show you my weekly sales numbers as I always do. Now, if you're into reselling, if you've just stumbled across this video for the very first time, I do these videos every single Sunday. They're my best sold items of the week to hopefully help you go out there and find the same items, make the same profit. So if you're into reselling, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, give the video a like. It's gonna be a fun episode today. Really pumped to get into it. It. Let's get started. Before I kick things off, guys, my question of the day is what was your best sold sales item? What did you sell and what was the profit? I'd love to hear about in the comments below. So go ahead and drop the comment and we'll get straight into this one. My first best sold item were these Nina Pasadena cargo pants that I picked up at an op shop uh, for just $6. Now, this was an awesome pickup because I don't see the brand Nina Pasadena too much. And I wanted to put it in this video because it's a brand that you should be on the lookout for. I know that they're pretty much predominantly only here in Australia. Um, you might see them around the world in other parts, but Nina Pasadena, I believe, is a Melbourne-based company, and uh, they do some really cool trendy clothes for the youngsters out there. So quite a popular brand. I don't see a hell of a lot of it, but I did spy the brand in the op shop in the sense of these pants. And in the space of just two days, these have sold right away on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, they sold for $30, uh, the buyer paid postage as well. I need to ship these ones, but awesome result here to get a $26 profit in really quick time. Um, they were just a camouflage Nina Pasadena cargo pant, but Nina Pasadena is done in t-shirts and everything else, so they do quite a range of clothing. Um, as a reseller in Australia, I would recommend you just jump on their website, have a quick look, check the sold comps on eBay. It's just a cool brand to look for. I personally like it myself, so when I did see it in the op shop, I knew that it was gonna be you know, worth getting my hands on, especially for $6. So made 24 bucks on that one, really cool brand to look out for. That's more so why I put it in for this episode, but um, yeah, awesome to get the result there on 24 bucks on a pair of pants. Now, if you're regular viewers of the channel, guys, I'm always trying to expand my niche and, and get into new and different categories and, and build my level of knowledge on things. And I've been able to pick up this Xbox bundle pack. So I bought the Xbox Slim console plus all the cables that you need. I picked up, ended up being four games in this one. Had the Kinect sensor system on top as well. So that was gonna be worth a little bit more. And it had the one controller. So it was a bundled pack. Now I bought this off Facebook Marketplace six days ago for $50. And it has gone ahead and sold for $160 on Facebook Marketplace just six days later. So this is purely as a result of me going, look, I don't know much about this space, but I know it resells really well. I'm gonna put the time and attention into it and try and make a few dollars. And before you know it, six days later, there's $110 profit. So I'm really happy with this one. I know people out there do the, sell them quite well and comfortably, uh, but it was a new one for me. So to get a result like that on the board, I'm pretty happy with. And I'm really just trying to urge you out there to just pick a category that you haven't played too much in before because there's really money to be made in any space. As long as you wanna put in the time and effort, you'll be able to make a dollar in any category you like. So for me, awesome to get the Xbox One done. Um, I'm gonna pay a bit more attention in this space because I think year round, it's gonna be a good one to get into. Now here's one category that I have paid quite a bit of attention to in the past. It was the bedside tables. I have done a bedside table this week, which I'm really pumped about. I picked this one off Facebook Marketplace for $40. Now, I really like the unique curved front on it, which you don't often see with the bedsides. So that was my unique part about it that I wanted to pick it up. And obviously it was $40 too, but there was nothing wrong with this one. I cleaned it, polished it, listed it, didn't have to do any work to it, which is another big thing for me. And it has sold for $125. It did sit up for nine days. Um, so I made a profit of $85 over the space of nine days. But I think the reason why is it just wasn't going for 150, which is what I had it held at for quite a while. I dropped the price and I got the sale at 125. So look, I haven't done too much furniture and I, I do try and get them done for 150, but because there wasn't a lot of furniture movement this week, I was just happy to get this one out the door and sell it for 125. Um, furniture and bedside tables are my biggest selling sales item, guys. So if you're watching this for the first time, I do encourage you to get out and buy a bedside table and just see how you go with the resale. As long as you're getting it for under 50, try to go ahead and sell it for around 150 and make yourself 100 bucks because it really, really does work for me on a regular basis. Next item up are the Magistas, the Nike footy boots. So Nike Magista, um, look, these are a really more of a mid-range type footy boot. If you're not sure, if you don't play in the footy boot space, I look, firstly, I think you should be in it. Just grab them for five to $10 every time you see them in the op shops. And then really just do a really good comp search when you're on eBay to make sure that you're gonna list them at the same price. Put a heap of time into cleaning them up because they often are dirty, but I do encourage you to get into this space. I've sold these for $35 and made a $29 profit in the space of just five days. And that's not uncommon, that's pretty regular. 
You can get some really good boots for $70 or $80, depending on the condition, and then you can get some mid-ranges that are around $35 to $40, and then you can often flip a few for about $20 bucks as well. So always get them, then do your comp, and just work out how much of a profit you can get. They're a great space to play in. Next item up guys is a pair of Nike Lunar Trainer US size 8 shoes that I bought in the op shop for $5. These have gone on to sell for $30 and make me a $25 profit. So awesome to have the result here. I always look out for the Nike shoes because in my eyes, they are the premium brand. Um, it's what you wanna get your hands on in both clothing and shoes, and they do end up selling for a really good return. Now I typically do shoes for $30 on Facebook Marketplace, zero fees. So I'm typically making about $25 for a pair of shoes, uh, which is I think pretty damn good. So if you can get out there and find the Nikes whenever you can, just stockpile them, try and negotiate a lower price in the op shop as well to get that purchase price down. Um, but look, 30 bucks on Facebook Marketplace is pretty common in pretty quick time. These actually did take 20 days to sell, so I was a little bit surprised at how long it actually took, but to get the sale in the end and put it in the bank, I was pretty happy. I've actually had a really good week in the gaming category, guys, because I've been able to sell this Nintendo Entertainment System as well for $119 on eBay. So I picked this up off Facebook Marketplace for 40 bucks. I really saw it on Marketplace, but it ended up selling on eBay. This was just your retro nostalgia vibes. The console had 30 building games that had a single controller. Uh, the console were telling me it was worth a whole lot more than the 40 bucks that I paid, so there was always going to be profit here. Hopefully with that Xbox sale and this Nintendo Entertainment System, it's not only proving to myself, but it's also showing you guys out there as well, that this is a very good niche category to get into. If you're putting the time and the effort to learn it, um, like I am currently, um, there's going to be some really good resale value for you out there. So um, look, a few dollars for me coming this week in the for the first time in gaming, and it's something I'm going to pay more attention to, and, and hopefully that's helping you out there do the same thing. Uh, it did take 29 days to sell, but that was because because I had it listed at 150 initially, and I've slowly brought it down to what is more of a market value price. So to get the result done in the end after 29 days, I'm still happy with that, and uh, awesome to get that one out the door. Now this next item was a really cool one. It was a retro Geelong Cat singlet that I found at an op shop for just eight bucks, and I knew it was gonna eventually sell really well. It took 41 days, but it did sell for $28 on Facebook Marketplace. So look, I made a $28 profit on this one. I thought, to be fair, it would be worth a few more dollars. The Geelong Cats are playing some very good football at the moment, and they're through to the grand final, so no wonder this item has sold this week. Um, but yeah, 28 bucks, 20 bucks in my pocket. Thought it'd be worth a few more, but it's not. Uh, thought I'd throw it in the video to show you guys that the footy and the sporting goods sort of category area sells really well and to make a $20 profit on a piece of clothing, always a cool result. Next item up is a pair of industry board shorts that I bought at an op shop for just $4.70. Now, I'm including this one into the video because it is a brand to be on the lookout for. It's a bolo item, but industry, and more so for shorts and pants. Whenever I see it in the op shops, I'll always pick it up because I know that it does sell well. Now, I've got a few of these items and I've sold this particular one for $19.25. So I've made a $14.55 profit on this, which is a little bit higher than what I'd normally get as a profit return for a pair of board shorts. Normally it's between five or 10, but I really do think this is the strength of the brand that's got this result. Now I've had a few sales like this where they've sold for sort of that $15 to $20 mark. Uh, but these ones did sell, had a really cool pattern to it. It was a size large, which obviously helps. Had a 17 day sales cycle, which isn't too bad for a pair of fairly plain board shorts, but I really do think it was the brand that got the result here in the end, and they are a really good quality make. So definitely be on the lookout if you're not currently for industry. Uh, they sell really well. The next item are the Nike Flynet 3.0s that I picked up at the Nike factory outlet store just about a week ago. Now, I've got a link up here for you to have a look at on my retail arbitrage video. If you guys haven't checked that out, definitely go on after this episode and have a look. Uh, but I bought these shoes for $45 and they have sold for $102 on Facebook Marketplace. This lady actually bought a few clothing items for, from me as well and I posted them all out to her. The difference meant that I, I got $102 for these shoes. No fees on Facebook, so I've made a $57 profit. Sold within the space of five days as well, so a really quick return on these. Um, retail arbitrage, if you're not doing it, definitely try and do it. If you're not near any factory outlets, jump online, do some online arbitrage. Try and find these fly nets for $45, $50 online. Get them sent to your house and then list them up on Marketplace for hundred bucks and you'll pretty much get the sale. I've now bought about five or six pairs of these shoes and I've already sold three of them within the space of a week. Um, so it's a very good shoe to get into. Obviously Nike, the premium brand, as I've already spoken about in this episode, um, but really cool to get the retail arbitrage. Another one, two weeks in a row. They're selling for me very well, these ones. So they are my 10 best sold items for this week, guys. Now, if you haven't done so yet, get into the comments below. Let me know what was your best sales item of the week and what profit did you make? I'd love to hear the story, so jump that into the comments. Um, I'll pull up the map here and show you my weekly sales numbers. I do this every week, guys, so I'll pull this up here for you to have a look at now. 
I've sold 28 items this week, which is pretty much an average for me. My cost of goods was $334.50. Again, that's pretty much on par with what sells for me. My total sales was $1,100 this week, guys, and my profit was $766. I had a profit margin of 69%. Now, guys, that's pretty much a standard week for me yet again. I would like that profit to be upwards of around $960. So I'm about $194 short of where I truly wanna be. But that's only one week, and I'm really trying to round that out over a month and then over a year just to see how things go. So I'll put this one in the bank, and I'll hopefully get a slightly better week next week, and I'll average out at that 960. But look, I'm not too disappointed with the way the numbers have fallen this week because there's been a couple of really cool results in a few different categories that I don't normally play in. So I'd like to think that my knowledge base is slowly growing, and as a result, eventually the, the numbers will, will start to come in because I'll be selling more of more items, if that makes sense. Um, so look, I'm not too disappointed with this one, 766. Look, it is only Sunday afternoon. You know what Sunday nights are like on eBay. So we might get a few more that tops those numbers up a little bit to end the week, but I'm happy with that. And I hope you've enjoyed this episode because um, I've, I've really enjoyed, I guess, trying to pick out a few different items that I don't normally play in and it was good to get the results in the gaming area. So hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. That will wrap things up for today. If you've got any questions, obviously put them in the comments below. Give me that story on your best sold item and we'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks very much.